you remember, in the scene, there was a really famous spokesperson for Dentu Creek. Yeah, what's her name? No, so in the scene, they talked about a certain famous lady. Yes. Floor tender said. Favorite gardener. It's called the Ideal <laughs> Home, and this is part one. Can you move a little bit that way so I can film them properly? Yeah, there you go. Well, Alice, I have not had too many good chances of looking. Thank you. I've looked in different places every day, but I haven't found the right one. Dr. Frank Einstein. So tell me, what seems to be the problem? I was kind of hoping you would tell me. What I mean is, what is your complaint? Oh, well, I do have some complaints. 
Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. I do have a neighbor who has a dog and he barks all the time. Some TV shows I really don't like. And that Metamucil doesn't work. And people who don't share cough drops. If I have a cough, I want someone to share a cough drop with me. I hate them. I guess I'm not being clear. What brought you here today? My husband. He's out in the waiting room. Do you want me to go get him? No, I mean, not right now. Look, Mrs. Jackie, Mrs. Um... Hammer. What's her first name, Mrs. Hammer? Jackie. It's Jackie Hammer. <laughs> Jackie Hammer? Uh-huh. <laughs> I used to work in construction. I see. What did you do? I operated a jackhammer. <laughs> of course. And you no longer do that? No, I had to really quit. Well, why is that? Well, I'll tell you, I, I just started shaking all the time. <laughs> Running a jackhammer? Yeah, I guess I was allergic to it or something. Jackie, this is Nurse Sally Manella. Hi. Nurse Sally Manella, would you take Jackie's temperature, please? <laughs> I'd rather she didn't. I'm a bit chilly as it is. you come into the examination room? This is the examination room? I thought it was a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time when Jack Hammer says... Dr. Einstein, I think I have a tickle in my throat. How do you know, Jackie? Well, I keep wanting to laugh, but so far nothing's been funny. Next time in All Americans Senior Soap Operas, when you'll hear from the golf show, Mr. Ah, <laughs> my golf show. Thank you. All right, so uh, our next one is Deborah. You guys are up. Yeah, so I want to bring up that we have a special treat here today. We have Paul and the D Show. They're coming in directly <laughs> for us right after your um, on, yes. couple we'll prizes. Our, our more prizes. Okay, so, um, hmm. 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 Okay, somebody name one of the things that Jackie really didn't like. Yes. <laughs> Metamucil! anything. I'm just giving you an opportunity of a lifetime. 
Okay, I'll bite. Just what sort of opportunity would that be? Mrs. Savvy, my company wants to offer you, free of charge, for a limited time only, a trial offer in your own home of our universal geyser. And what great hell is a universal geyser? I'm so glad you asked that question, Mrs. Savvy. That proves that you're a very astute lady, one who insists upon being informed of every detail of every transaction. That is why your name was selected from thousands of others to take part in our free home trial offer. <laughs> okay, I've already asked what it is. Are you going to answer the question, what is a universal geyser? A universal geyser is just about the most brilliant invention you'll ever encounter. <laughs> it's the only product you'll ever need to complete your collection of gadgets in your home. I'm beginning to feel like a broken record, Mr. Deviously. What are you trying to sell me? Well, Mrs. Savvy, the Too Good, a, too good to Be True company has a patent pending on a universal geyser. It's lightweight, do everything invention that attaches to your vacuum cleaner. With this tiny gadget, you'll be able to unblot your blouse, air scrub your skirt, relink your linen, dust your drapes, refresh your rugs, and dry clean your dog. <laughs> Well, thank you anyway, Mr. Julius, but uh, I'm not interested. Now, now, hear me out, Mrs. Savvy. With the Too Good, a, too good a Universal Geyser, you can refine, rectify, and purify everything in your home without so much as turning on the faucet. You can clean, cleanse, clarify, expurgate, and irrigate. How about irritate, Mr. Julius? <laughs> you are beginning to irritate me. And as I've told you, I am not interested. Wait, wait, don't hang up. There's more. You can spot clean your sports clothes, air freshen your anklets, breeze blast your groomers, and wind back your wigs. <laughs> my, my, your little invention does all that and at no cost to me? That's right. Your name was chosen from the list of thousands to receive without any cost to you. A too good to be true universal geyser for a limited time only. Well, am I lucky or what? And just what is the catch? Catch? You have so little faith, Mrs. Savvy. <laughs> All we ask is that you try our product for six short months. At the end of that time, you may return it with no question asked, and it's absolute unless you're absolutely delighted. And it's absolutely free, you say? At no cost to me? Absolutely. Your only obligation will be to the pay the postage and handling. Postage and handling. Oh, that's all? Of course that's all. Plus, <laughs> you also agree to allow us to use your name and photo in our advertising campaign. <laughs> oh, okay. So now we're getting somewhere. You want me to pay for the postage and handling and advertise for you. Do I get paid for advertising? How could you even look at it that way, Mrs. Savvy? Anybody should be happy to see her picture in a national magazine. Now let's see if I understand you, Mr. Devious. <laughs> you want me to pay postage on a thing that attaches to a vacuum cleaner that I've already paid for with my own money. Then you want me to pay you for taking the time to send it to me. And for all that, you get to use my name and photo for advertising. Is that right? I'll put it in writing. You will love the convenience of the Universal Geyser so much, I guarantee you'll be telling your friends and neighbors about it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Mr. Deepis. <laughs> you called me on my private phone and you've taken up my valuable time, <laughs> and you've caused wear and tear on my nerves. <laughs> I'm going to figure out what all this is worth and send you a bill for handling. <laughs> now, now, Mrs. Savvy, there's no reason to take that attitude now. Companies like yours try to cheat senior citizens. I think it's only fair to tell you this, this call is being recorded, 
and I'm sending the tape to the state attorney general's office for review. <laughs> Mrs. Savvy, I just checked my list of your lucky offer recipients. I am terribly sorry, but it seems I called your number in error. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>